All right, so let's get back into this. This. What's up, my loves? It's your girl, CC Moya. And wow, this channel has grown to just so many new subbies um, that I haven't been able to introduce myself as someone who is present and real and existing in 2020 because I think my last video was shot it must have been I think July of 2018 like over two years ago so um yeah welcome to my channel my channel has not only just grown exponentially without me being actually present but one of my videos is doing really really well it has almost 200,000 views and that's a three-year-old video so it just goes to show that YouTube is still very relevant like most of us still love YouTube and we are still learning from people who are creating content for us um, and I'm just glad to see that you know you want to hear me you want to learn from me and that what I'm actually teaching you or talking to you about is interesting to you so this is cool um, so I want to be consistent and I want to be here as often and as efficient as I can be. So today I thought, you know, during this quarantine situation that I would ch chat it up a little bit with you. Um, I want to remove this nail polish. I got one off already and I want to keep doing that. And then we're going to do some skincare and some makeup. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. And Ruby, if you don't know, I have a little girl named Ruby who's three years old, going on four on April 1st. So she's one of those babies who will not see a birthday party because we're all isolating. So no birthday party for my little girl. But as much as I love the idea of, okay, this is what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just removing my nail polish. As much as I love the idea of throwing parties for, for children, I think about it and I go, you know, I don't even remember my own parties, like when I was a kid. So is it worth spending a whole lot of money on birthday parties? I don't know. You tell me, you know, if you have children or let's say you, you're uh, an auntie or an uncle, um, a cousin or just a friend of someone who has children. Do you find it worth it to have these extravagant parties and um, just so much money spent and effort involved? Do you find it worth it? I mean, it is an opportunity for people and family, period, to get together and kind of bond and just, you know, celebrate life. But is it worth sometimes like the crazy expenses? I don't know. What do you think? I'm hesitant on that because I'm like, financially, it doesn't feel wise. i rather spend money or i rather put money aside for her future or invest it somewhere where I know <clears throat> it will actually benefit her in the long run. You tell me. You tell me what you think about that. Um, but I do want to do something special for her next year, for her fifth. Yeah, for her fifth birthday and for my 35th birthday yeah to me that makes sense like yeah go big go big then so it was my birthday recently speaking of birthdays i uh celebrated just a little bit with friends and you know we just had a little cute birthday dinner and it was right before the whole quarantine situation so mm. one more just got one pinky to do and then we'll get into some skincare all right, you guys, so tied my hair back, freed my face, and we're first going to go ahead and cleanse our face. Yeah, I'm very clumsy. So let's do it like the YouTubers do it, the Instagrammers, you know, let it drip, drip on your face. And one of the tricks that I use is that I go in dry with my cleansers. So I go straight onto my skin without using water, and I feel like that's... The, one way to get it to soak up as much dirt as possible. So we're gonna try this bubble charcoal sheet mask deep purifying. It's a bubble 
bubbling sheet mask. If you can see the image of this lady right there. That sounds super cool and weird at the same time, but let's see. Okay, so I got this bubbling mask on and it actually is looking just like the picture. Like her face is all bubbled up. I'm I'm the same. I'm the same way. So uh, yeah. Yeah, this feels really good. I can't remember where I bought this from. It was either from a pharmacy or from the the beauty supply. But this feels legit. This doesn't feel like something I would have bought at the beauty supply for like a dollar. If this feels like I probably paid four, five, six dollars for it. Mm -hmm. It smells nice. It feels like quality. It's doing what it says it's supposed to. Oh, because y'all, <laughs> I'll come out with another video at some point because um, I've recorded it already. But um, this keeps slipping. It's coming on top of my mouth. So, uh, there you go. Um, and it was a fail. When I tell you it was a fail, a peel off mask that, anyways, I'm not gonna spoil it. Fail. It turned into a nightmare. So <laughs> watch out for this, it'll be coming out at some point. So this has to stay on for about 15 minutes. And um, I think it's been about five. So we'll wait another 10, I'll sip on my wine maybe watch a couple of videos on my phone catch up with some instagram posts and memes about quarantine <laughs> and uh because those be funny though the quarantine dance challenge yo people are killing it we'll be back <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So my face feels, how does my face feel? I use cold water. When I look at my face up close, it looks, it looks good. It just feels clean. It feels very clean. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know that squeaky clean feel? When it's like, yeah, see like my, my skin got pale real quick. That means it's, um, everything is sucked out. There's nothing, there's no oil, there's no dirt, there's nothing on my skin, in my pores. My nose is shiny, so that's how I know that it took out uh, the extra sebum, the extra oils on my nose, from my nose. Mm, my pores are, are clear. Yep, this cleanses really well. So I'm gonna use this Garnier Micellar Water. This is typically what I use as a makeup remover. And this is gonna be acting as as a toner ish if I dry off a little bit and now we're gonna go in with my moisturizer and that's it you guys like that that those are the simple steps that's it a cleanser if you want to do a mask 
um, or a scrub one or the other is what I usually do if I'm not doing a mask I'll, I'll do a scrub a toner of some kind if I'm using the micellar water as a toner because it's the kind of thing that you don't have to rinse off but it still kind of closes up your pores and um, and it has some kind of a hydrating effect as well and moisturizer to lock it all in Just hydrate your skin before you go to sleep or underneath makeup Today we're going in with CeraVe. This is hands down my favorite moisturizer in a while. I think this is my second year using this moisturizer. I have combination skin, but closer to dry skin than combination. So I really like it. It feels great. I love it underneath my makeup and it's great before going to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for much more. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to stand tall in life and in love.